way, we, we're both going to have our points here. And a player that's joining a new system that I think could really blow up in his new home is Jared Cook. But you're not quite as excited about him with the Saints as I might be. What do you have against the Cook man here? So I don't want to compare Jared Cook to Kobe Fleener or say anything outrageous like that. With that said, man, last 10 years, tight ends under Drew Brees. We had Jimmy Graham. He was tight end one or yep. tight end two four times. Ben Watson got in there and got a tight end seven in 2015. So it's it's possible for a non-Jimmy Graham guy to get there. But now Jared Cook, he's not in those early 2000s Saints offenses anymore. Because if you look at Brees' pass volume the last two years, they're a run first team now. And I understand that, you know, a part of that is just their defense being better. They're winning, so they're running the ball a little bit more. But, I mean, the drop-off in Brees' pass attempts these last two seasons, like he was over 40 att- attempts per game from, like, 2016 to like 2009 and these last two years he's been under 35 per game so they're making a concerted effort to throw the ball less when he is throwing the ball we already know that Michael Thomas and Alvin Kamara are going to be those top two targets and I'm just not convinced at this stage in his career that Breeze is going to be able to elevate three uh, really fantasy relevant receivers I mean look He's in that dome. He's got these uh, talented weapons. I don't, I mean, there's no reason why he couldn't play another couple years at a high level. I mean, he, he just, you know, led the league in completion rate and yards per attempt. It was ridiculous. Mm-hmm. With that said, man, I was, I mean, if you watch the playoffs and stuff, you could see Breeze deep ball kind of falter down the stretch. Didn't look like quite the same guy. And I mean, I just compared his drop off in those last six weeks to what we saw from Peyton Manning in 2014 before he fell off a cliff. Eerily similar. And like I said, he's playing in a dome. He's not playing in Denver, so it's a little bit different there. But Father Time catches up to all these guys, and Breeze is getting up there. And, you know, at the very least, I'm just concerned about if Breeze can uh, still just elevate an offense to the extent he was able to in the past. I think you brought up a lot of points that the the biggest concern I have is that volume one, they have become so run heavy and the best Saints teams we've had, the ones that make the the deepest runs, even dating back to when Breeze was elite and they had that Super Bowl team, that was the run heaviest the Saints had been over that decade. Sure was. I I, I totally understand that argument and I I can't really argue against the diminishing aerial pie so we like to compare it to. It's definitely going to be a smaller one uh, and the, the decreasing deep ball, definitely a concern too, but but what I what the stat you brought up that I do really like is the accuracy was still there. And what I'm really looking at with Cook is this team does live in the red zone, especially when you got, you know, Kamara just as dangerous as anybody in the NFL. So if this team continues to be that red zone maven and all over the place, that's where I think Jared Cook, even if he's not a, a high yardage guy, I could see t- ten to twelve to, you know, however many touchdowns because he's still six foot five. He still has a, a 40, almost 40 inch vertical, and he ran a, a rumored 4 3 7 40. So, I mean, the athleticism Ooh. is insane. If Breeze could just maintain that accuracy of putting the ball wherever he wants it in the short game, when you got a body like that in the red zone, it's going to be a deadly combination, in my opinion. I know we've been chasing, as you alluded to, when's the next Jimmy Graham coming to be? That's even how I titled my article on, on <laughs> uh, uh, Jared Cook was, is this the next Jimmy Graham, essentially? Because we've all been chasing it since that monster year. I do like that Dan Campbell, their tight end coach said, hey, we had to dust off some of those old playbooks from Jimmy Graham's days because we finally have the athlete to run these plays. Sean Payton kind of gushed about how he's, he's great in yard after the catch roll. Breeze himself, when I was you know talking about those 50-50 balls, he said he's got great length. He's got a big catch radius. You feel like you can put it a lot of places and he's going to go get it where other guys can't. So, I mean, if you're getting the praise from Breeze, you're getting the praise from your tight end coach, from Sean Payton, I, I like all that. So I am concerned, you know, the third mouth in a a diminishing aerial pie that's getting smaller and smaller that concerns me but all those other heaps of praise coming on and what he could do in the red zone with Breeze keeps me especially at a position where you know after the the big three there's kind of that tier of Ingram and Hunter Henry but after those two guys I don't see a lot of clear-cut next ascensions, maybe Vance McDonald, maybe this, but to me, Jimmy Graham might be the best bet. I mean, look what he did with the, the Raiders last year. He can't at least match that. I, I don't. He won't get the targets, but I just think the quality goes up so much yeah, more. Yeah, that's, that's a good point about the quality. I mean, he's not going to have uh, the focus of the entire defense on him like he did last year because yeah. they're going to obviously be looking at Mike T and uh, Kamara. So, no, I mean, I, I see where you're coming from it. And I, I, the thing about Jared Cook is, like he, he mentioned with his speed, I don't know if he's a, quite a 4-3 guy, but regardless, <laughs> regardless, he's clearly a guy that defenses, you know, when you run him down the seam, they really got to respect that. So, it, you know, again, this could be a situation where just him having him on the field 
even if he isn't the biggest fantasy contributor, which if he's going to get there, I agree with you. It's going to be with uh, with some red zone dominance. But that's really going to open up those underneath routes for uh, mm-hmm. Thomas and Kamara. And I think uh, when we did see the Saints offense have trouble last year, like I was saying, it was when, uh, you know, Breeze wasn't able to hit that deep ball as yeah. consistently. So now having uh, Cook, having Teddy Ginn out there, you know, Traquan Smith a little more polished, there is going to be a more heightened sense of speed on the field in New Orleans this year, which is good.